Hey guys, this is Micronage, or you may call me Eddie, and today I'm going to show you guys on how to get a free PlayStation Eliminator called EPXE 1.8, which is a really great Eliminator for playing your old PlayStation games. So you want to go on Google, and you want to look up Eliminator Zone. What you do, you want to click the one that says the Elimination Zone, your switch for Elimination. Click that. And once you do, um, you'll get the page popping up like this, and all that stuff. So you want to click the one on the side right here. When you click on all these eliminators, you want to click the one right here that says Sony PlayStation. And um, there you go. You get all these like eliminations. We're gonna go over EPXE today. It's a freeware. You don't need to like download any other um uh, programs with this in the in downloading this. So you want to click EPXE. And um, you want to choose the one that says EPXE PlayStation Eliminator. Click that. And you'll get one of these. While that's downloading, we're going to go to Plugins and Utilities on the right side over here. Click that. And you'll get all these plugins because even though you got this, you need all the plugins so it can work. So first of all, you're going to need is a Aldos Memory Card Manager 1.3. You want to click that. Um, the next thing you want to do is download Pete's um, P GPU plugin. If you have a new computer such as Windows 8, or Windows 7, those big graphics cards are the best ones. You want to click that one. A controller plugin, we, we won't need one, but if you like to download one, line, go ahead. Um, the next thing you're going to need is um, um, Eternal SPU 1.5 Beta 2. And there we go. So I'm going to make a folder on the desktop. Real fast. We're gonna name it. Um. We're gonna name it E. E P X E. Folder. There we go. And you wanna drag all all your files and all that you did. Drag it all to that. Drag that in there. Drag that into there. And drag this into there. We're gonna open it up. And you want to have RimWire also, which I will put a link in the description for you guys who need one. Uh, so first of all, also, you need to do is click that and click Extract here, whatever you want to extract it to. And then all the files and also you need it's going to extract right there. So there we go. This is everything. So you want to um, drag all these things that you put in into the plugins folder. Memory card manager goes into memory cards and the video plugin goes into the plugins folder. When I go to the memory card and just click extract here with your thing and there you go we got that the next thing you want to do is go to your plugins folder and um... uh... you want to do next is um... click extract here and this one you want to click extract here and anything that says DLL when you get in the folder you're going to need those and you want to get this and then just drag it into the thing and there we go we got everything set up but we're gonna need one more thing. We're gonna need a BIOS. What a BIOS is like the central core to a PlayStation or whatever. So you wanna I'm gonna put a link in the description for a website. It's MU Paradise. It has it has like a page for full of these BIOS for any of your eliminators. Once you do all uh, when you do click the link, you wanna click the one that says PX BIOS C P C S C P H one oh one thousand one. Sorry about that. Click that. And you wanna uh, wait for it to download. And you want to extract this to the um, folder. Um, you want to click extract here, thing, and you want to just drag this bin to the BIOS file. And once this works, you should open it up, and you want to. This is how it will look like. You want to click config, wizard guide, and config this however you need. Click the one you need. Uh, I have to use the open GL since I have one of those. Config it to wherever you want. Click OK. Click Next. Choose which one you want. I recommend having 64 buffer size. This is my settings I have. Because this one is really great because it's because some of those are on the laptops. It sounds like all weird and also laptops. And you want to have 64 so it sounds really clear. So and you want to have that for some of the errors when it's where ink games. Click OK. Click Next. You want to choose the um which one you have. Click Next. Configure your controllers and all stuff. And just click next and click done. Since we got it like this, I'm gonna um, exit out of that and leave that open and just exit out of that. 
And you want to just click file and you click run iOS and you get just run a game. I have Final Fantasy 8, this one, and it should work by now. It, it's not going to upload exactly as fast because um it has to take a while to run read the bin file and all of a sudden it has to open up. So let's wait for this um thing as it goes. And there we go, we got our, our thing. So it's finished. So this is my tutorial on how to do this. Um, share this with anybody you know. And I hope this is helpful to anybody. So see you guys next time. And bye bye.